Hey Edison's Chris Spencer here, Gold Springs Way. Just down the street from the other one we looked at in the neighborhood. This one is also the same floor plan. We really liked the higher end finishes in these, I know. It is a true hardwood, something a lot of the others were missing. Now I do see here and there, you won't be able to see it on camera probably, but here and there there's a few scratches in the floor from a dog. Um, can, yeah, I think you can see a little bit in that shiny spot there, kind of what I'm showing. You can't, I mean, you have to be looking for them, which is my job, but I, they don't stand out. They've been kind of coated over since then, but there are some of those from a dog. Nice bathroom, big bathroom for a, for a guest bathroom. And there's a tile surround there. Noticed right here, it was a little bit dirtier in that tile, so that may be a little bit of a stain that's tough to get out. But overall, good, good condition on everything. No scratches on the cabinets or anything. Sometimes we're worried about dogs. These are actually soft clothes on the cabinets as well, which is in the bathroom, which is something you rarely see. So good quality on all that. Crown molding everywhere, really, which is also pretty rare. All the bedrooms everywhere solid wood door so i mean the quality of the construction is good coat closet here so <clears throat> only negative i noticed is there's no linen closet for this bathroom so a little bit of a negative there as you only have coat closet here in the hall here's your bedroom on the front of the home it is a good size that's something we had talked about when you looked at the other two bedroom in the neighborhood you were worried if two bedrooms would be enough to make work but the size of the bedroom, size of the closet's all good. Nice tall baseboards. Dining area here. Must have a decent sized dog, that's a big bed. Same kitchen layout as the other one we looked at. Really the same, total same floor plan. Trash can there. I like these pullouts here for pots and pans under your cooktop. That's nice, again, everything's soft clothes. This is a little bit of your rough type finish granite that I like, it's really kind of in style right now. Stainless steel appliances, I did notice a little bit of a dent on the fridge. If you can see it, it's very minimal. Yeah, right in there, but really all the appliances looked good. Opening everything up, taking a look at that. Pantry here wire shelving so that's a little bit of a a corner cut maybe a wire shelving instead of a a luan or solid wood laundry room here shelving above it even molding in the laundry room which is nice another coat closet for as you come in out of the garage two car garage there's space for two cars in the driveway as well. I'm driving my truck today though, and it's a little bit too long. So if you had a really long vehicle, a big pickup, a Suburban, that would get tight parking in this driveway. Nice garage though, even molding in the garage. Do not go up there, whatever you do. We're not doing that anymore. Big open den area, really nice rock fireplace. You asked me to look at the paint and some of that stuff, it really is pretty good everywhere. I mean, you can see a few places here and there where the baseboards have been nicked a little bit. Um, right here, you can see a little bit where they're nicked. I mean, it's gonna happen to anybody with dogs, but overall, Certainly, I wouldn't say needs a paint job immediately. I mean, there's a little touch-ups here and there you could do, but overall, the paint's pretty good. Hardwoods in the bedroom, good size. Tall ceilings make it feel bigger as well. Nice double vanity. Same kind of rough finish. Soft clothes here as well. This is that same shower we talked about. In that other unit, if you remember, they had added a glass door here. 
um, which is something you could do pretty easily, but with the location of that shower head and everything kind of back around the corner, you may be okay without that. A nice shower, a lot of natural light there. Private water closet. If you remember, everything here is an extended size doorway for if you ever were wheelchair bound, which includes going all the way into the toilet area there and into your closets. Nice and tall. Built in shelving, which is nice. His area, I would say, is a little bit tough to access back there. That's a negative, in my opinion, having to try to crawl back in that corner to get some of your stuff. So that's a little bit of a tight area there. You do have a linen closet in your master, I wanted to point out, by the way. You know what I would do if it was me? I'd turn this into my, my closet, at least for part of it. And I'd make that corner in the far back linen closet type area since you're accessing your clothes more than you are linens, or at least I am. Okay, if you remember the last unit in this neighborhood we looked at, had the, they had enclosed the porch into a sunroom. This one is still a porch. It's not screened. You certainly could screen it, but it is an open air covered porch. Trex decking everywhere. If you remember from that last unit, they don't put windows, they put the high windows up for natural light, but don't put any of the low ones on this side, so you do have a private decking area. So nice, good size, could put a little table out here or rocking chairs like they've done. Nice area. If you remember this unit is the one that has the lower level seating, which is unique. I texted you back a little while ago, Rhonda, but this one has two outlets down here as well as a gas hookup which is a big plus they've got a gas grill here and also a, a charcoal grill but nice area i don't know that i would I'd, certainly if it was me would be sitting upstairs instead of down here but i know how you like to to use the smoker this is a great area for that smoker down here this one's also unique in that it has <clears throat> this large storage area back here so this is really a crawl space. I think they made a mention in the listing that you could finish this in the basement. Uh, maybe would be my response to that. Um, by the time you, hey, I guess you could. There be You have to have eight feet of ceiling height. And I guess if you poured a solid pad down here, you would still have sufficient height, even if you did a little drop ceiling area. So you could make one little finished room here if you really, really wanted to, but it's better used just like it is currently as, as a storage area. Makes it great if you ever did any uh, renovations to the house as you can access the plumbing, the electrical, really easy from down here. The plumbing anyway. Well, I see a couple electrical. Well, those are just going to these lights. So no real electrical down here, but your gas and water lines you can access from down here. Good storage for them. As you can see, that looks like an eight-foot ladder. So you got roughly nine feet there. But this is a plus. A lot of these don't have this. So... Nice little extra storage area. <clears throat> Back behind you here is common area. So you don't have to worry about any houses right behind you. You can see how they've laid them all out around you. But I do like that you back up to woods here and not to another unit, which is they've done a pretty good job of laying these out that way to give you some privacy. There's your heat pump, plumbing clean out, and that's actually your pump tank. The sewer is a little bit higher here than the plumbing is, so you have to actually have a pump tank that pumps that up to the sewer. That's what that is. I also have a sprinkler system here. I saw a head somewhere around here a minute ago. Um, there it is right there. So you do have a sprinkler system here in ground as well. So, all right, guys, I'll shoot it to you here in a little while, and we will... Uh, We'll see where to go from there. Hope you guys are, if nothing else, have a good weekend. So we'll talk soon.